Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the new video. I have been procrastinating making a video for last week since I released my last video about productivity. Because things have been a bit mess up in my app which I was building, the Mac app. Uh, there was multiple issues as I, I explained in that video. I was migrating our whole storage solution to Bunny CDN from Fire Storage. That happened, but with that came a lot of bugs, uh, which I have to support and use cases because the way how Fire Storage upload SDK works versus how Bunny CDN works uh, is completely different. So we have to write like a bit of modules, handle a multiple use cases. So finally, I'm very, very happy that everything is working smoothly. We have also released our app for internal users. So a couple of internal users can now start testing the app and they can upload videos. We have capped the limit to one hour video in one session. But yeah, today's video is going to be me explaining what I am going to do with this. Plus, I have some exciting news about the iOS app I was working on. Well, that's not very exciting, but in general, it's like I am shutting down that app. I will not be continuing working on that. The AI voice note app. Now, the reason being, so if you have seen the recent releases from OpenAI and the Google I.O. I noticed a lot has been done on the voice part of LLMs. With OpenAI 4.0 model, which is like Omni model, the communication is so good, so, so good that I really doubt anyone can now match it anytime soon. Now, similar thing happened with the Google I.O. as well. They have also released the Omni model so Google has done the similar thing. They have released an Omni model, which is also capable of giving a very good feedback in terms of voice. So I'm pretty sure uh, the voice capabilities with the emotions and the capturing of our voice, their handling is very, very well. Now, my idea was to capture notes, but I'm thinking if I get access to Foro, which is currently uh, not released yet for public, if I get access to it, I would not need my kind of app, which just takes my inputs and transcribes them. I would just keep the photo open as in my mobile app and I'll just be conversing with it with it and all automatically chat GPT stores all our conversations in their chat app. So yeah, voice, I don't think has a big USB now and I really doubt I'll be using my app, which I'm working on rather than Foro. So I would definitely be using Foro more. That's the thing which I'm very scared of, like putting more hours into that app. Secondly, uh, the another USP of my app was transcribing YouTube videos. So you give a YouTube link, it transcribes what the video is about and gives you a summary of it. And you can just extract notes from it. Now, if you have seen Google IO, you might have seen that Google has launched exactly same thing uh, with their Gemini. Uh, it's embedded directly in a YouTube. Currently, it will be released only for Pixel devices, but well, if they have released it, so it will automatically be coming in the YouTubes as well, the YouTube uh, app itself. So I don't see why would someone use or even I use my app if I work on this. And this is the thing about AI. You have to move very fast, get initial users uh, because well, these big companies like Google, OpenAI, they will release and kill your ideas. Uh, until they are proven so and it's a good time like you just need to pivot yourself and I'm pretty happy with the Mac app which I'm working on uh, this is nothing to do with AI and I really doubt anyone is working on some uh, similar kind of app so it will handle its own use cases very stable app uh, will be used for very specific use cases for a very specific niche audience but what I'll be working on AI so I have an exciting news about about that but before that Let's start our day today. So what is in our plate? Uh, today I am going to work on two bugs, which I have noticed. One is sometimes uploading, like changing the audio in the app and uploading the videos. Uh, the video upload fails. Uh, video does upload, but uh, it, it still shows like it's uploading. So maybe one use case, which is we have not handled. So I have to fix that issue. Another thing which I have to do is uh, I have noticed like uh, the camera webcam view and the audio view, they are flickering uh, when we do multiple recordings. So I have to see why that is happening. I have no idea why it is happening. First, I have to figure out why it's happening and then I have to patch it with an update. And the third thing which I am waiting for my team is getting a GitHub token. 
So what I'm doing is, so this is a Mac app. User will download the DMG file into their systems. And DMG files are generally two to 300 MBs uh, if you're making an Electron. And if I give an update to them, they would not download the whole 200 or 300 MB every, every time they have to update the app. So what we will do is we are using Electron Updater which downloads the update in the background when the app is running and user just have to click on restart so the update just takes replaces the old update uh, this handled by electron but we need to upload our releases to github so then uh, app checks in github servers if there is a new update it just downloads and refreshes itself this has been done with even like if you are using an app called slack you know, if you are using discord if you are using figma all of these apps just update themselves in the background so that user does not have to download these DMGs every time. Because we are releasing it, so we want to make sure it's production ready. Uh, we give the app users to once and then it just automatically keeps on updating itself because updates will be a major part, right? And there will be tons of bugs which will be fixing, tons of features which will be releasing. So yeah, these are the three things which I have to do in this app. And next I'll talk about the next project which I'm working on. But first, let's tackle this task. Okay, so it's almost 9 p.m. now. I just came back from the beach. I already had my dinner and was editing this video, but I want to summarize the whole day. So all of the bugs which I plan to fix are completed now. And uh, the second thing is the idea, the AI app idea, which I have already like put into the garbage bin. And now I'm picking up another AI idea, which has always been on the side track uh, while I was working on this AI note tab. So I'll continue from where I left. What is the idea, how I got that idea, why I'm building it. I'm going to make a very dedicated video definitely on that. Uh, also today I received uh, my new chairs. Uh, like I've, I've, whenever we used to go to the beach, we, we, we used to think how good it would be if you can just sit here in a chair. So I ordered some uh, foldable chairs. So the, here these are and we went to the beach we were sitting in that I was reading a book very beautiful sunset happened today and after that we came home uh, prepared our dinner and now summarizing this video and this was the day basically okay so I'll wrap this video up today and thank you so much for watching till the end this was a very low vibe like a normal day in my life again it's a Monday and this week I'm planning to release minimum three videos because last week has been spent too much on working on my app and this week I'm thinking let's put out some time on recording these videos uh, I'm getting good feedbacks from all of you guys and please help me comment like uh, what do you want to see in the next videos uh, one of the videos which I'm very excited for is uh, explaining what is my idea like uh, for my next app and uh, yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching this video I'll be seeing you in the next one thank you bye bye